Today we are tackling the much anticipated hair and makeup for Miss Winifred Sanderson. Jenny was an absolute delight of a model and actually brought these awesome earrings with that kind of match the ones from the movie. She was really insightful on her character and expressing all of the things that went along with the character. So to start with, we are gluing down her brows, which was so sad because she has like perfect brows. Um, we also had her hair pre-crimped just like Jocelyn's because I want to get it big, 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 big because Winnie has some big ol' hair. So once I've got it crimped, then I'm gonna go back over, use my wand, and curl it all. So I'm trying to section it out to curl it here. Um, split right down the middle. Once I've got everything sectioned appropriately because I want it split down the middle, I'm going to put a little bit of hair to one side and then I'm going to center one of those same sponges. I'm going to be curling the hair up and around it so I can cover the sponge completely. And then I've decided I'm going to finish all my curling after I've gotten these sponges in. So sponges first, curl after. Um, I'm also using that um, sponge that I cut in half for Jessalyn's hair. I've cut quarters of that down to use in Winifred's updo just so that I don't get a flat round and I get more of a coned shape so that it kind of forms that heart shape that I'm looking for. So now we're going back in and curling everything. Um, it's a lot of hot tools for one day, but it gives me a lot more volume. I feel like I don't have to do a copious amount of teasing when I do the crimp and then curl. Um, it gives a little bit different texture. I like the hold. It's just, it works well. So now you can see I've got part of her head curled up and I'm going to try and cover that top little mini sponge and the other half of the big sponge by taking some of her hair from the back and flipping it up over. Bringing that up and around and pinning then underneath again. I'm gonna get all my little edges out of the way. Make sure I have a shape that I like. And then all the extra from here, I'm going to continue to curl. So I curled my front section, then covered my back. I mean, you could cover the whole thing and then go into curls, but this was my first time doing this up to. I was kind of feeling it all out, seeing where I wanted everything to go. And then I'm slowly going to start to bring my curls up and use those curls um, to cover the two buns that I've made. I want to keep them nice and loose again so we get that heart shape. So I'm going to be taking and pinning all my little pieces in place. And I'm hoping this video will kind of show you better than how I can tell you. But loose and flipped over the top and the ones from the back I'm bringing forward and then tucking the tails up into the front area so that you can't see them. And just the front curls go back, the back curls go front. And we slowly and carefully lay over all of these pieces into place to create the shape that we desire. This can take a little bit of futzing around. I'm definitely playing with all these pieces to try and get it kind of where I want it to be. I've got one side done now and I'm starting on the opposite side and doing the same thing. I've got my bun in, I'm gonna start pulling all my little pieces up and then I left two nice little tendrils down and I'm sealing her in with my got to be because that is my go-to hard hold hairspray. Now that I've got her eyebrows glued down and the glue is dry, I'm going to go over top of them with a concealer and make them disappear completely. So 
So I'm going to try for more patting motions and less brushing motions because the pat is going to help seal it down. And if I brush backwards too hard, I'm going to start to separate the glue and bring the glue up off of her skin. And then it's not going to glue down as nicely. Once we have the concealer on, we are going to powder over top and voila, we are browless, which is what Winnie needs to be. Next, I'm gonna go in and start shaping her cheekbones. Winifred has a pretty structured face with really high, harsh cheekbones. So I'm gonna start doing that to Jenny here. I'm gonna start shading down everything very dramatically. Next, I'm gonna go into the cheeks. She's giving me a big smile here. I started with um, a contour color first because I really want to highlight those cheek muscles and kind of give that line underneath her cheeks like Winifred's face is kind of shaped and then I'm gonna go back in with the signature blush that uh, really makes this makeup look once I've got everything contoured kind of the way I want it to be. So going back into the heavy contour getting into the edge of her cheeks to really define those cheeks out and then we're gonna go in with blush and a lot of blush and that blush is staying more or less in the apples of her cheeks as per the original makeup from the movie um, Winifred's makeup is a staple to her look so whereas I strayed away a little bit more with Mary's we're sticking to the books with Winifred they yawn. Lots of faces. Next we're going into the lips. She has much smaller lips so I'm going in with concealer and I'm taking out the edges of Jenny's lips so that she's only going to have red right in the center. Next I'm going to go in with a black shadow and I'm going to kind of give her a little bit of a smudgy eyeliner line. I don't want it to be really defined and I'm going to super blend it out because it doesn't look like she's wearing much eyeliner in the movie, but because this is a little glam I'm going to be adding purple glitter lashes later, so I want some sort of shadow underneath that lash line. I'm going in with some fairly nude... Um, eyeshadow colors. Got Jocelyn in the background making faces. <laughs> Definitely not. Winifred's makeup is not by any means one of my most glamorous glamorous looks. But um... She wasn't the most glamorous of ladies, and she's got some signature things I'm trying to keep in here. So um, just to define her eyes a little bit more, I went with an even lighter color, almost like a cream white on her lids, and now in the creases I'm adding a um, neutral brown color, just to kind of accentuate her eyelids a little bit, which definitely helped from um, keeping this makeup too flat and then we are going to add the purple glitter lashes as cool as they looked they were the absolute bane of my existence they were so stiff they did not want to stay glued down we definitely had to glue them down more than once even after this initial glue they just did not want to stay so in the future i may have put a pair of like christina's down and then stacked the purple glitter lashes on top of that. Um, I think that might have been a better plan of attack, but here we are. I adore these lashes. They're so extra. They're so ridiculous. They just kind of add that extra little glam to this look that's otherwise not super glamorous. Now we're going to go in. We're going to get that pouty little itty bitty baby doll lip look in to finish our very Winifred Sanderson 
signature look. You can see already I'm struggling with these lashes. Jenny is ready. She is already feeding us looks. And there she is, the finished Winifred Sanderson. You can find Jenny's information below and don't forget to like, follow, subscribe.